Apology today after that video surfaced showing the students at Warrensburg High turning their backs towards the Center High School basketball team. There's a lot of debate about this on Facebook from both students and parents. 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel looks into this video that has now gone viral. The video you just saw took place right here behind me. The Tigers taking on the visiting Center High School's basketball team. Some in the crowd believing that the actions were racially motivated and unsportsmanlike. And tonight, the superintendent of the high school is vowing to do anything in his power to correct the situation. There will be, uh, there will be consequences for those students. Warrensburg students are having to answer for this, turning their backs on the opposing team at Monday night's basketball game against Center High School while one student held a Trump campaign sign. Her actions shocked Antonia Nunn, who captured it on her cell phone. And he was holding up the sign like this. And I'm just like, wow, like that is so rude. And I felt like it was racist. Because Where it went over the line is when, when they held up the, the sign, and, and there was just no reason for that to occur. The Trump sign. Yeah, the Trump sign. Uh, there's no reason for that to occur to basketball games. People have shared the video nearly 3,000 times, which sparked a fierce debate online. Did you think it was racist? I thought it was very racist, and I was kind of very offended by it because I was like, I mean, why would you do that? I mean, like, we came there to play a game. Center School District says that they're letting the online comments about the video speak as to whether parents and students were offended. And we're always concerned when our students or our families feel disrespected. Warrensburg superintendent says the video disturbed him while acknowledging his students have inappropriately turned their backs before. He called the students' actions this time insensitive and is apologizing. It's an incident that is unfortunate and inappropriate and and, uh, and I apologize on behalf of our school district that it happened. And as of now, it's still unclear what disciplinary action will be taken towards those students. Reporting in Warrensburg, Brian Abel, 41 Action News.